When the first settlers reached Iowa, they were greeted with vast stores of natural resources. Almost seven million acres of the state were covered with woodlands. Huge stands of maple and basswood trees were found in the Northeast. Oaks and hickories dotted the rolling hills of southern Iowa. And immense walnut trees grew in the rich bottomlands along our streams. It was possible in some areas to drive a covered wagon beneath the canopy of the forest. Our first settlers chose the woodlands as places to begin their lives. They benefited from the forest resources, wood for homes and firewood, plus plants and animals for food. Majestic oaks provided craftsmen with an opportunity to create fine furniture. Wild cherries gave their fruits for jams, and maples provided a source of syrup. The woodlands also provided habitat for wildlife, like wintering areas for herds of elk, plus nesting and roosting sites for the now extinct passenger pigeon. With the aid of axes, saws, and fire, the forests were cleared to make openings for crops of wheat and corn. Steamboats traveling on the Missouri and Mississippi rivers used wood for fuel. Timbers were felled to make proppings for coal mines. As Iowa's population grew, the forested lands began to disappear. Slowly, Iowa developed into a major agricultural state. Almost 80% of the original woodlands in Iowa are gone. Only 2% of those remaining are in state forest lands. Most pasture and grasslands were converted into crops of corn and soybeans, and livestock were turned into the wooded areas to graze. Livestock eat and rub the bark, often killing the trees. Grazing of woodlands by livestock prevents regeneration of seedlings and compacts the soil. Little will grow in the bare soil, and the land is left open to erosion. Those who studied the woods realized that we had to take steps to conserve our valuable forests. Naturalists help educate people about our forest resources. Take a walk in Iowa's woods. You'll discover that our forests have something special to share with all Iowans. Things that make us realize our forests are more than trees. Be a detective and look closely. You may see the tracks of a white-tailed deer or find a beaver dam in a forest stream. If you're quiet, you might hear a warbler singing to attract a mate. A forest is a community of plants and animals interacting with each other. The fox squirrel stores acorns for its winter's food supply. If they're not all found by the squirrel, they may grow into mature oak trees. The gray fox, in turn, eats squirrels, birds, and fruits of forest plants. This is just one example of the many food chains that can be found in our woodlands. Forests grow in several layers, with different animals and plants living at each level. For example, the great horned owl may nest in the canopy, while the white-tailed deer makes its bed on the forest floor. Beneath the litter layer, you'll find many animals, like the white-footed mouse and the larvae of the cicada. When animals and plants die, they help to restore forest life. This log is decomposing. Its nutrients are being recycled, enriching the forest soil. The nutrients may be used by seeds that will grow to become forest giants, with roots that reach deep, providing support and absorbing water and minerals from the soil. Rings of new wood are added each year to a tree's trunk. Can you age this tree by counting its rings? Iowa's woodlands are commonly identified with the eastern deciduous forests. Our summers are warm, winters are mild, and in most years, there's plenty of rain. Oaks, hickories, maples, and walnuts grow well in our state. Cross-country skiing, picnicking, hiking, and mushroom hunting are popular outdoor recreational uses of Iowa's woodlands. Wild turkeys have been reintroduced to our forested lands. They roost among the treetops and search the forest floor for acorns, berries, and insects to eat. The primary uses of trees harvested in Iowa are for lumber, pulpwood, veneer, and firewood. Wood products have become a major part of our lives. If you wear tennis shoes or chew gum, you depend on trees. And what about that chocolate bar you had for a snack? Our forests have values other than the products they supply. They help in controlling Iowa's major water pollutant, soil. 
soil erosion on Iowa forest lands is 87% less than on pasture and croplands. A single tree can transpire 100 gallons of water per day. This has the same cooling effect as five average room air conditioners running 20 hours per day. Some scientists believe that acid rain, ozone, and other air pollutants are damaging trees in our forests. Can we become responsible citizens and keep our air clean? Insects, too, cause a concern. Some, including the larvae of the two-lined chestnut borer, are killing white oaks, like these in Ledges State Park. In Iowa, we throw away almost 540 pounds of paper waste per person each year. What environmental price are we willing to pay for convenience? Do you recycle the forest products you use? There is a lot to be done. How much lumber and pulpwood will we need in the next decade? Iowa's public and private forest lands can help meet our future needs. They can be managed for multiple uses to provide lumber, outdoor recreation, and nesting sites for bald eagles. Most people agree that replanting harvested forests makes sense. These nursery seedlings are ready for planting to help ensure forests in the future. By participating in Iowa's Trees for Kids program, you can help. We need to continue to plant trees for the future so we can guarantee healthy forests for years to come. Won't you join us and plant trees for Iowa's kids?